What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and in this one we got some huge transfer portal news as Michigan has landed a key offensive line transfer. We also got some news on the former five-star cornerback and USC transfer Domani Jackson. Also going to be talking about what some coaches and players are saying ahead of the Rose Bowl matchup uh, against Alabama as the Michigan football team has arrived in California and we also got some practice footage of the Wolverines. It's all going to be in this video and more so let's go ahead and get right into it all right so we're going to go ahead and talk about the team arriving in la and practicing for the rose bowl later in the video but i did first want to start with some transfer portal news for michigan as michigan landed the northwestern offensive lineman transfer josh preby as he announced this morning he is now michigan's second transfer portal addition of the cycle as the maryland linebacker just sean barham has also transferred to michigan so uh, preby though he started 12 games this season at northwestern at left guard and he could compete for a spot there next season with both Trevor Keegan and Zach Zinner moving on to the NFL. Now this season included allowing zero pressures on 46 pass blocking snaps in the season opener against Rutgers. Also had no pressures in 61 dropbacks against Minnesota. Now he is a Niles, Michigan native as in the 2020 class he did hold an offer from Michigan. He was a three star but he ultimately chose Northwestern. He also held uh, many other D1 offers from power five schools now last year michigan brought in three offensive line transfers out of ladarius henderson drake nugent and miles hitton so i wouldn't be surprised if michigan you know got maybe another offensive lineman but this is uh, some big news for Michigan. They, you know, needed an experienced offensive lineman coming in and an offensive lineman, you know, that just adds depth on the interior. So big news there. Michigan lands the Northwestern offensive lineman, Josh Preby. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this pickup. He's a veteran captain for Northwestern in a third team, all Big Ten. And uh, he is 6'5", 310 pounds and should be a nice addition for Michigan on the offensive line for next season we also do have some more transfer portal news on the usc cornerback domani jackson as we talked about it michigan you know we knew they would be a player in this recruitment as michigan you know they were a favorite in his recruitment uh, when he was being recruited before he committed to usc he also has ties and is friends with will johnson and according to on threes pete nakos michigan and alabama are the leaders at this point to land jackson however domani jackson has also received interest from texas and texas a m but right now michigan and alabama are thought to be the leaders in his recruitment right now it would be a, a big time pickup for michigan now michigan was going after the western kentucky cornerback upton stout however he uh, committed back to western kentucky and will remain there michigan is also going after the yukon at cornerback mumu bin wahad but obviously you know having a former five-star cornerback like domani jackson right beside will johnson in the secondary would absolutely be huge for michigan's defense next season so uh, that's the latest news on the transfer portal for michigan not a whole lot going on right now as you know they're preparing for the rose bowl and their cfp matchup against alabama and the whole focus right now is to bring a national championship back to ann arbor and uh, michigan they did arrive in los angeles tuesday and they took the practice field for the first time in california on wednesday afternoon there's you know tons of festivities going on michigan uh, football and the alabama football team also went to Disneyland there was a parade there and everything so both teams got to enjoy you know the California feel a little bit but right now we are four days away from January 1st in the huge potentially one of the best Rose Bowl matchups between Michigan and Alabama in the CFP semifinals try to put up some videos from Michigan's practice uh, you know they we've talked about it before Michigan you know going into an approach this time around with less physicality uh, in the practices and more you know just keeping bodies healthy going through walkthroughs 
you know, making sure their technique is perfect and their mindset is ready to go uh, into January 1st. But, you know, this team, they are locked in still. Uh, coaches and players talk to the media. Jim Harbaugh, he also held a press conference and uh, talking about, you know, Disneyland. He said, this is the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. And what a slogan. They nailed it with that slogan. He said, I'd agree, especially as a kid. Then he said, then once you get uh, to being about 17, 18, 19, or 59 to 60, the happiest place on earth is a winning locker room. Harbaugh, he also deflected any questions about his coaching future. He said that he has a one-track mind right now in preparing for the Rose Bowl. Talking about the Rose Bowl prep, he said it's been good. Guys, they're really sharp, very energized. It's all been really good, locked in, focused. He said, I'm not sitting here today saying we've done everything and anything that we can because there's still a week to go. I want that feeling on game day but he said everybody's as confident as they can be and precise in what they're doing and that's what we are doing he said it's in a good place we're just refining it looking at everything that we can and we'll do that right up until game day jim harbaugh also talked about jj mccarthy being nfl ready but wants him to stay in the here and now jj in the past has already said you know i have not made a decision at all i'm completely in the present moment soaking in every single day enjoying every single practice every single meeting with my guys so i'll know by the end of the season but he is completely locked in to this rose bowl matchup against alabama and uh, Harbaugh, he said, you know, oh yeah, I think he's NFL ready. You know, I'm not gonna lie and say I don't think he's NFL ready. Very much think he's NFL ready. He said, I just want to stay in the here and now, see if we can't dominate this day. But I uh, said, like he said, he wants to wait and play the game single track mind. And I love it. Let's keep doing that because that's what got us here. Harbaugh also talked about uh, Alabama quarterback Jalen Milrow. And he said that he's like a real polished Alex Orgy. He said the athletic skill set, the playmaking ability, just the ability to extend plays, uh, make plays, the volume of the work and how it's progressed is really impressive. He said we've seen it before our eyes right now with Alex Orgy and it scares me a little bit that Jalen Milrow would be as athletic as Alex Orgy because Alex is like the most scariest athletic guy on our whole team. So, okay, that's a little scary. It's going to be very interesting to see Michigan's dominant defense go up against Alabama's offense and quarterback Jalen Milrow. I think the defense will be up for the challenge, though. Also goes to show, you know, how... Uh, Alex Orgy, you know, he could be Michigan's future quarterback. You know, we really haven't seen him throw the ball a lot, but he has a, a very good uh, athletic skill set. That's a little bit what Jim Harbaugh said. Uh, Michigan defensive tackle Mason Graham also spoke with the media and he talked about his hand injury. He said that it's doing good, 100% now. He said it was cool uh, playing with the club for several games this year, but it wasn't too cool when I was in it, but I just had to get, get it over with. Also talked about Alabama's offensive line. He said they are a physical group. They work well together, and uh, obviously they are pretty big. They just kind of work together with their quarterback, and they're good in the run game too. He said it'll be a good challenge for us. He spoke on his keys to a successful performance against Alabama. He said probably just getting off the ball getting to the point of attack really quick setting them back because they're used to coming off the ball and really getting after guys we kind of have to just reverse that that's what a couple of coaches and players have talked about ahead of their matchup against Alabama in the Rose Bowl but uh, Michigan football team they're in California now practicing getting ready obviously some festivities and some fun here and there but this team is completely focused and locked in come january 1st and they know what's at stake so uh, other than that hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment down below and subscribe for more if you are new around here i greatly appreciate it other than that we will see you guys in the next video go blue